you often see armies wandering around the campaign map that are generally just full of trash. Most of them have slingers, most of them have just a lot of light fast infantry units. And that's what the AI deploys at the start of every campaign really because that's the only thing they can afford. But those armies in large numbers are kind of hard to destroy unless you have similar sized armies. So today I go up against two AI armies that are significantly larger than mine. The AI's armies are 2,000, maybe 4,000 men. You may notice I have a kind of strange deployment. Let me just take you through what's going on here. So the AI has a ton of these slingers here. These guys are just some regular slingers. And it also had these um, sort of club wielding like, infantry warriors, which are really, really fast units. They also have a reinforcing army with another general, with a, basically a ton more slingers. They have a general that's come in over here as reinforcements, which is a, a club shield general. Now, first of all, I thought about deploying around here and setting up my men in a wide formation and attacking the AI. Uh, because I was going to beat them one-on-one. -on -one. I tried this several times. However, the problem with such an engagement is this reinforcing army here. Now, these AI armies will come in stacks. They come in stacks of two, sometimes even three. And they'll deploy their slingers on the back line here. And as you try and engage them, they'll pull back and they'll meet you with these club-wielding warriors, surround you, start firing loads and loads of slingshots at you and just completely demolish your army. There's absolutely no way that my tiny little army is going to be able to beat that. So what do I have? I have a lot of these early Trojan swordsmen. They are not very uh, experienced at all. And over here, I have more of my elite troops. I have these spear shielded warriors. I have these choice chosen. They're really good, but they have a big weakness, which we'll come on to in a second. They have these renowned archers, champions of Troy, really, really good unit here. And Hector here, who's commanding. So I can't afford to lose this battle because Hector will die. I've already tried to retreat once and they just followed me. This battlefield, as you can tell, is very much a hilly, choke pointy battle always rocky formations especially in the Aegean and I just got so lucky to have this massive rock formation which I, I think was supposed to be just a big out rocky outcrop here but the game has spawned in this like lane here which is it's just wide enough for these two now you may think can't the AI just you know walk up this little mound here nope this is this is where it ends you can't go up here at all you can fire over there but you can't go up there. So why am I using this area? Well, the area's main advantage is it can spread out really, really far. And once it spreads out, my unit cohesion starts to go down. I start chasing individual units. I start losing track of different fights. Units of mine get isolated. My general may die at any point and the whole thing just collapse. That's what happens when I deployed out here. Now this may be called cool corner campaign, whatever. It doesn't matter. The AI is going to cheese you and bring huge stacks of, of trash. I'm going to cheese the terrain that's been offered to me. It's not really a big problem for me but why have I split my army well it's because I want to draw the AI into a fight over here and not here the AI is going to find it a lot more difficult to uh, hit my spear infantry but also because this is a, this is a corridor here isn't it another, another corridor this small section of land here is in the corner and so I'm hoping the AI comes all the way around here and attacks me in this area I spring my ambush drive them down this way and hit them in the rear and kind of sort of force them into this corner. The biggest problem for me is that the AI is so spread out they can just isolate my units, especially with these fast moving slingers. This is interesting here. I have my men on guard mode, on fire, but wheel is turned off. But you can see here that the AI actually does see me for a split second. There it is. See there's the uh, hidden units have been revealed and they run away. Now at this point I'm just sort of, you know, of course they found me. This is the furthest bush I can possibly hide in. <laughs> Maybe this one here. But the AI reacts by running away and then seems to just forget about me. And that's actually good for me. Remember, I can't see what's going on out here. This is only what we can see. And so the AI starts to explore. And this is when something bad happens. My Troy is chosen, which are incredibly good sword unit, probably one of the best in the game, are out of control. And this happens because uh, they're impetuous. They have the impetuous trait and they decide to charge, and this was an absolute nightmare for me. Just see how much sling fire, just initially, this unit's taking. It's absolutely massive. And this is only from three slinger units. There's like 20, maybe up to 15 to 20 slingers out there. I just think I have to withdraw them. I can't just let them sit there and take it. They'll just die. 
That was a mistake for me. I should have let them soak up the ammunition. But as you can see, 100, they've already lost 20 men. This is a massive mistake by me. Uh, I was thinking about, you know, <laughs> quitting the battle here. So we've lost 30 men now. 35, we're going to come up to 40 men now. Lost for absolutely no gain. So you can see why going out into this massive horde of AI is just absolute death trap. One thing that this unit did do though, is it drew the AI this way. Somehow they've forgotten about the units up here. Thank goodness. Just look at how many slingers here though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I mean, it's like nine or 10 there. I've got to decide when the right time is to spring the trap. I've got to run them all the way down here and up here. So you see the AI kind of moving their slingers up this way again. I'm thinking, mm, are the AI going to hold my ambush whilst destroying these guys with slings? That's the perfect engagement for the AI really at this point. I'm trying to bait some of these missiles because in bushes like this you get a 40% block chance per missile but I see these slingers here and I think well these guys are going to die anyway because they're impetuous they'll come out behind my shield so I may as well try and get a couple of sling kills and also by engaging here it seems to have snapped the AI's brain back away from being distracted by this potential ambush and push them back this way and they're starting to funnel into this area now I was waiting for the perfect timing but I can't see any of these units or most of these I can only see the slingers are firing at me here AI yeah, starting to become particularly funneled especially this area and interestingly they decided to send their generals in first Do my absolute best my archers to try and target the biggest mass of enemy slingers. General's bodyguard comes in. I'm particularly worried about this unit here. It's very much depleted. Now I can see 139 shields versus 160. And immediately after that, the uh, enemy slingers start turning their fire on the champions of Troy. Um, which is annoying because I wanted these guys to get shot in the back. But the AI is clever enough not to do that. And now the ambush is being sprung. I think I can't wait any longer. I've got to catch them as, as fast as possible. I think I've just seen the amount of slingers here. There is kind of a bigger blocking force than I had anticipated. Now it's race against time. I just spread out as much as I can here. I actually have the numerical advantage here. I mustn't let my units get blobbed, blobbed up here. I have to keep it going. I've got to get my slingers firing on the enemy slingers as quickly as possible. I've got to break these units. I need to swing these guys around and hit them in the back here. As you can see, we managed to break the air over here. I'm pushing them back. Uh, and it's just this huge blob now left over here of these slingers and light infantry units so we managed to use terrain to our advantage we split the AI up managed to route a lot of their units relatively quickly managed to kill one of their generals as well as you can see up here uh, and, and at this point my uh, silver shield warriors here are are breaking um, I decided not to push my champions of Troy in here but just to form up here reason being I don't really want to uh, get them surrounded and our formation so we're gonna let these guys fight it out we're gonna try and save this unit if we can but yeah as you can see there that that just didn't work at all I had to put it on low settings i'm really sorry guys we are getting a massive lag spike for no reason <laughs> this game is this wasn't happening when i was playing the actual battle look how terrible this looks now <laughs> oh there we go back again hey i mean these uh, spear warriors here have done an incredible job just holding back the enemy but now the champions of Troy, these are a really, really good unit. Uh, as you can see, it's taking a lot of damage. At this point, though, I realise that I'm on a time limit. These guys are not going to hold out forever. I need to catch the AI um, infantry over here as quickly as possible. I also notice that a lot of the AI units are pulling back. I do not want them to let them escape from this area. See, I'm getting bombarded from every angle. Even in this uh, foliage down here, I'm still taking considerable damage. Uh, AI is pulling back and then they're sort of re-engaging. It's now just the champions of Troy and Hector left. And these champions of Troy are absolutely amazing. They will take a massive beating. The more they fight though, you see this armor value on the right there, it's 82% right now, 81%. That'll go down. The faster that goes down, the more damage they're going to take. I 
as you can see, it takes a while to break through these uh, lighter infantry units. But uh, because their general is dead, they actually are breaking a lot quicker than they would normally. Let's see how many units are trapped here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think 11, but there's three generals units here. Those are the big, those are the big problems. You can see my flanks are starting to crumble here. And Hector is getting ready to be sent in. There's still two generals left, and that's holding this morale together. Some of them have general dead, but as you can see, the longer this fight goes on for these guys, the worse it gets. They're all exhausted, very tired, exhausted. But look at the champions of Troy, fresh. And the reason they're fresh is because they're in phalanx formation. And that whole, seems, at the moment at least, to hold the fatigue. Finally, my men have arrived to kind of put the hurt on the rear of this, this unit. I don't want these guys coming out, so I'm actually going to uh, pull my units in quickly rather than waiting for them all to form up. My guys are tired, though. Uh, I don't want to break. A couple of my sword units have been caught out here. You just see the power of a slingshot here. There's still 95 of them, but they are getting completely peppered by just a couple of half, you know, half health units here. Getting them out on the open field and getting surrounded would be terrible. Charges on, and the surround is finally completed. There's nothing better than seeing a surround like this. I, I, this is just fantastic. This is how you defeat massive stacks. You, you draw them into an engagement that doesn't benefit them, uh, and you surround them as quickly as you can with your other units. And it's still going to take a, a while for us to kill these guys, because their generals don't die. But once their generals die, it's pretty much game over. But the AI does a pretty good job of, of saving themselves here. That's it. That's how to tackle these bigger, sort of more trashy AI armies that can easily surround you and pepper you to death with slingshot. That's how to do a delayed ambush to draw your enemy into a position where they will fail to use their advantages like numbers. So as you can see, the AI deployed around five and a half, five, yeah, five and a half thousand men to my 2,800 men. 420 kills by this renowned archer. That's because the AI was not focused on them and I was. Also, this champions of Troy doing 188 kills. They're not an aggressive unit that does damage, and so that's actually pretty impressive. Let me just show you what happens if you don't deploy using terrain to your advantage. Remember how before we could see everything? This is more like it. I'm going to kind of form my spears up across here. As you can see, the slingshot here I'm going to start to do incredible damage here to my men. Uh, and also, the enemy has the advantage of being in this shrubbery, which actually gives them a 40% chance of missile blocks. So we're going to retarget there. As you can see, even though I'm pushing my, my men forward as fast as possible, the AI is just getting a lot of free shots on me very, very quickly. I'm hopefully going to try and draw as much of their fire as possible by putting my men into a uh, phalanx formation, which gives them a 10 plus missile block chance. We're going to counter charge these guys, we'll let them hit our spears. As you can see, they did just break our champions of Troy. I'm not quite sure quite how I did that, to be honest with you. I got completely overwhelmed by their missiles then. I'm trying to pull this missile unit back and put them on a... As you can see, I'm just getting completely roasted here. And now, yes, these units have won. But they're completely out of position now. I'm actually... It's not doing me any favours. Oh, I'm just getting completely surrounded here. All the time. And see these slingers haven't even used half their ammunition yet. And they're, they're kind of blocking my men here. Trying to pull my archers back so they can get better firing angles, but it's just the terrain's not helping me here. Kind of like conflict about where to deploy my sword units here. Gonna bring these guys back around here. These slingers just wrecking this sword unit here. The only chance really now is to get their general. I'm just getting completely roasted here. I've lost 20 men out of nowhere. Losing my champions to Troy was terrible. Really quite upset that they uh, routed there. Hector's just gone. Yeah. As you can see, we did hardly any damage to the AI. I probably could play that slightly better, but realistically, no. You know, it's really difficult to deal with this when you have slow moving units. If I had cavalry, completely different story. 
I think what happened here with this unit is they got sideswiped here by a lot of slingers. Complete collapse of my front line right now. It's just a complete disaster. AI just pushing me from the field. And there we go. Done. Did quite well at the beginning there. It went down here really quickly. And that's the reason why you can't face the AI on an open field. Sometimes you have to you have to withdraw to the terrain and use your strengths against their weaknesses. A trashy army like that loves to spread out, loves to shoot you to death. And that's why you can't play to the AI's strength. You have to play to yours and use their weaknesses against them. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you for the next video.